uh, we're um, on our way uh, to um, the Cholin Woods, um, hoping to uh, to find there um, uh, uh, part of the, the prophecy of, of, of the, the world that Kuzu is looking for. And we first had to um, to cross the river, and we encountered a um, um, a set of nomads that call themselves the pine nuts, and they wear they wore clothing uh, woven from pine needles and had bark masks um, that they would lift up to eat, and they had a shaman. Um, who had their own tent off to uh, to one distance, and um, we uh, we made a parlay. Nida was fascinated by their fancy rifles, um, which I think were turned out to be laser rifles or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and that uh, they bonded over high tech weaponry, and um, <laughs> and uh, while. Uh, Azure and Kazooie went to to visit the uh, the shaman, um, and sort of talk uh, spirit shop. Um, they uh, the their leader negotiated with uh, with uh, Nida and Hamish to, uh, for a fee to cross the Wine River, um, and then they broke out some um, hallucinogen. Uh, to some mushroom derivative and uh, and 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 partied. Um, the shaman warned us about the Cholon Woods, saying that there were things called nightmares there uh, that would come out at night and that um, uh, were extremely uh, dangerous. Um, and talked about. Um, uh, it's also mentioned that the towers, I think, in the south were uh, uh, potentially a source of rich treasure, but not without dangers. Um, the shaman didn't know of any other strange locations other than the, the ones to the west that we had chosen not to, uh, to visit this time around that were similar to what I see Matilda had uh, mentioned. Um, Azure had... Uh, a powerful dream about the caravan's future, uh, which is had more things in it than I remember. Um, and um, in we uh, we left the caravan to go down the road while uh, some of us went into the Cholan woods, and there were strange sort of jellyfish-looking creatures that would dangle from the trees, and. Um, we found a site where um, a sky chariot mm -hmm. had crashed a long time ago, um, and uh, there there wasn't anything, you know, there wasn't anything uh, uh, very large left of it. But there were lots of shards of of uh, the unusual metal that those things are made of, which we collected because they're uh, they're valuable. Um, the, uh, because we tried to see, um, a pattern of the future in the impact, um, uh, but the elements had, um, weathered it too much for her to distinguish, uh, any important details. Um, on our way back, we were attacked by, um, the nightmares. Um, and fortunately we managed to fend them off with the help of um, some spirit warning um, that Kazue uh, anointed everyone with uh, to to frighten them at a distance, but even so, it was um, uh, you know we 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 could see how uh, how potentially destructive uh, they could be in in driving people mad. Um, we managed to rejoin the caravan, and <clears throat> at the end there. Um, uh, Azure asked Kazooie to help Azure kick her um, uh, her addiction uh, to uh, Golden Amber, 
Um, um, and, can I uh, interrupt you? Um, we have a new uh, a line, I think, on deliberate head injuries. So I will I will finish the um, the ritual. So there was like a cleansing ritual, very painful for um, yes. Azure. And I, I think when I see that. So it, it's not just blunt force uh, injuries. So okay, um, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Because Zoe did a very unpleasant ritual. Um, mm -hmm. and painful to Azure, uh, which ended up um, purging uh, her of the uh, the golden amber. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where we ended. And uh, maybe that is also where we pick up. So Kuzui, when you um, visit um, Azure, how does it look like? Azure is in the, uh, in the solid coach. I think there are um, some of yeah. the Greenlanders uh, uh, attending to her, but when you enter, they will move away a little bit. Make yeah. Move. yeah, well, I, I asked, I told them not to watch, but some of them watched anyway. Um, I um, I have a uh, um, a, a little uh, bamboo pipe uh, with liquid in it. Like the, you know, classic, you know, piece of hollowed out bamboo with uh, with a cap hole drilled in one end and a little plug. Um, and I handed it to Azure and I said, this is, um, this is tea made of, uh, of Elon uh, roots and it will help with the nausea. Um, but otherwise I think you'll be fine. All right, Azure kind of props herself up on one arm and takes the tea. Um, and she has some difficulty drinking it because her tongue is really swollen. Her whole, like, everything's really swollen because of the amber, you know, getting pushed out or whatever. Um, and, you know, like those pictures of cats with their tongue out? She's kind, mm -hmm. of, she's kind of like that for a little while. You know, I don't know how long, maybe a day or two. But still, she's, she's kind of got her, like, and it's real fat. And maybe it's purple or something like that. But um, so she takes the tea and she has a little difficulty drinking it. But she... Yeah. Uh, um, but she accepts the tea and she, she says, thank you very much. <laughs> um, Is there any kind of reservation? Like when, when the camera lingers on your face, is it, um, I don't know. Are you thankful or is there? Yeah. yeah I'm very grateful. Pride? Cause I, I, I can feel that the desire has left my body. I can feel that whatever those tendrils were are gone now. So yes, I mean, you know, I, I, my thought is yes, I got my ass kicked, but now I'm free and I can I can uh, do uh, something. And, and and then all of a sudden, like you know, uh, I drink the tea and then I kind of lay myself back down, and uh, then then I uh, and then I look at uh, Kazoo and I'm like, did you say something? Right now, no. Uh, but oh. I wonder if you're not having echoes of your dream. Uh, and then I start picking up thoughts, like surface thoughts from all the people hanging around. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I kind of hold my head and I'm like, uh, um, um, interesting. I think the detox kicked off my ESP skill mm -hmm. that, I, that I leveled up on. Uh, and I'm having a hard time tuning everybody out. Uh, yeah. It's just the circus, sur surface thoughts. It's just like vibes of people and feelings, you know, more so. Almost, than, you know, maybe yeah, somebody's like, like, holy shit, what the fuck happened to that woman? She's fucking, you know, <laughs> or what a wreck or something like that. You know what I mean? But it's not focused. It's it's like uh, you have like a radio and you're, you're changing the channel every three seconds. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a wash of, I mean. Are you having thoughts. trouble? Are you having trouble? I can, uh, I know what everyone, I, I can feel everyone, like what they're feeling. So, some are scared. Some are uh, disgusted. Just now? I yeah. Mean, recently? Just now, waking um, up. I, I've never had this before. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I, I get a sense of that you are feeling, um, that you're feeling like uh, uh, oh. sympathetic to me, but I don't know. Correct. What the hell? Oh, this. Well, this. 
you're, you, you've, you're, we've cracked your third eye. That wasn't the intention. Holy! You must have, you must have had it. You must have had that. Um, it, it, it must have had that latent in you. Uh, um, the sight, which makes sense because of your dreams. Yeah. Um, yeah, your third eye. Let me let me see. And she puts she runs her fingers over your forehead, you know, over the top of the forehead, just where the hairline is. Mm -hmm. And she goes, "Yes, it's open." But uh, well, um, I, I uh, there's some. Um, you're you're going to have a. It's. I'm not surprised you're uncomfortable. Um, normally I'd say we should get you away from people, but you can't really walk. Are you, can you manage for now? Do you want a sedative? Uh, yes. I can, I can, I can, I can give you something safe to put you to sleep. Well, I don't mind being awake because being, being passed out recently was pretty horrible. Uh, I could, you if I could, if you could clear people out of here and, uh, you know, even if you could see like, you know, giving me a perimeter, so I'm not picking up everything. We can do uh, that. that. That would be helpful because. We can uh, do that. She needs some space. I to maneuver Azure into whatever the, the, the most, the corner most spot I can find on the caravan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. And get other people to, to step back. And the, the Greenlanders do give you a subspace. They actually leave the um, the coach. I assume that it is um, you were in the Cholan Woods at night and um, came back. Then there was the procedure. Uh, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I assume that um, Azure also slept for some time. So let's say it's um, noon of the the next day. The the um, Ultraviolet haze uh, is lifted. Um, and uh, what are you planning to do? I'm lying down. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll be doing that for a little bit. Hey, Mish, where are we? Where are we going? Well, we're not going to get far with uh, nine miles to feed at this rate. I reckon that our best bet is we head south. Try and resupply the Jade Bawab and then uh, rejoin our caravan and leave the area. Meet down, head down to Spectrum Palace and uh, hook up and say goodbye to this lovely little neck of the woods now that we've uh, rescued. I know that Saffron will be disappointed that we didn't pick up another body, but they seem to be lying around every corner. So, Yeah. We're going to come close to some very strange things. I'm on the way to Jade Baobab. I'm always close to some very strange things. And he looks no, over I mean, as you place, Places, places. Oh. Stop that. Because <laughs> <laughs> we left. Just um, time out. Um, as uh, like as a mechanic uh, for um, Azure and and also for Kazui, every discovery gives you the ability to roll a certain percentage to find what you're looking for. So. Right. Can ignore all these wondrous things and be safe, or you can, um, you know, try to um, what's it called? Go there, and then there will be some danger, but there's potential reward, both uh, experience and, you know, uh, loot. The um, I would like to investigate. Um, well, I mean. The two things on the way there were the, that we know of are the towers and the gray glow. Mm -hmm. and, and and you can see the towers from where you are. So. The towers are evidently a, a source of, of, of riches, but that also probably almost certainly means trouble. But the gray glow, on the other hand, is uh, um, might be a portal. Um, and I feel like it's important, and I would like to got to look at it but there's no there's no great likelihood there that there's anything incredibly hostile i mean it itself might be dangerous but um hey well i i'd right. like to investigate that if i you know if if even if if no one's interested in the towers but i'd like to look at the 
at the glow. The glow, then? Shall we? Uh... Yeah, I think I'd, uh, I worry about these green, Greenlanders. We we tried so hard to save them, and then, you know, so I'm just... No, no I agree. No, I wouldn't out. suggest anything, that it, except that this is this is just a short distance off the road. Yes, so, of course. Of course. So I mean... Hey. It won't slow us. It won't slow us. Slow down our, our rejoining the caravan. I'm all for it. Let's find okay. out what's causing this. Yeah. Cool, so... So you're traveling on. Um, who's uh, who's walking? At least five people have to walk. Do you make the the Greenlanders walk? Who's I'm, driving the truck? I think we should rotate the people who walk so that nobody gets mm -hmm. too yeah, tired. Yeah. Hamish wholeheartedly agrees, uh, and somehow manages to never be rotated into the uh, the walking. <laughs> uh, he's always like, "Oh, I'm driving. Oh, I'm getting this from the back." Or you know, like he's a uh, he always finds mm -hmm. some excuse to get kind of out of it. Yeah, Austin's, uh, Austin's uh, ends up walking two times as long for that reason. <laughs> uh, Azure's, Azure's, Azure's not walking unless Kozu has anything yeah. to say about it. Um, <laughs> Azure is healing. Um, Kozu that doesn't mind walking. She's walked thousands of miles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and Azure, are you on the uh, on the trailer, so on the solid wagon that is behind the auto wagon, or are you actually in the auto wagon where there are less people? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, let's just say I'm in the auto wagon where there are less people. Who else? Mm -hmm. Who else is in the auto wagon? Well, uh, I think that ha Hamish is driving. I guess. Yeah, Hamish is driving, uh, and then when he rotates with uh, someone, he switches over to be in the shotgun seat with the shotgun, uh, and he just always manages mm -hmm. to bike his way to being in, in the caravan, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. So what, what are you thinking at the moment, uh, Hamish? I'm thinking I'm never going to take any of that gold and amber stuff. That was terrible. Mm -hmm. but, uh, the cure is worse than the disease, as far as I can see. Uh, and I'm thinking it'll be good to rejoin the caravan and uh, get these people to safety and to make some headway towards the Black City. You know, uh, people are on my trail and I don't want them to catch up with us. Mm. And uh, Azure, you could also, um, he, like, it is really difficult to uh, to get what uh, Hamish is thinking. I think you get every fourth word that uh, Will just said. Um, mm -hmm. But you get from the people are outside, from some of the Greenlanders, um, you hear that, that which is evil, or we have to look out for ourselves. Um, and um, you, you get a, um, I don't know, some kind of negative vibe from them. But if you drive, when you're driving on, you pass um, these three um, delicate um, red towers made from um, what is known in the UVG as land coral, uh, which is some kind of coral that they can make grow in whatever way they want. Um, and they grow, if you will, out of a devastated morass of um, tumbleweed um, and ruins of other towers that have collapsed. Um, and I think it is getting late so you could um let's say it's a late afternoon it is autumn so it's it's getting dark dark relatively early you can definitely uh, drive on for uh, two or three hours to get where um on your map is indicated that there's the gray glow whatever that is uh, or you could rest here what do you do What do you reckon, Kazooie? I mean, I'm not one for uh, poking around in the dark unless I know that there's someone. No, I no, no, I don't. No, there's no reason to go looking in the dark. Um, it's just a question of where, which of these, I mean, where we have to stop, which of these locations is the most dangerous at night. I, I would, I can't, I, I can't say. In terms of creatures, probably the towers. Oh, I know. We're not stopping it. I'd, I'd like to skip the towers if we're not going to. Uh... Okay, I mean, we should then move some down the road and then and, and stop for the night. Yeah, we find like a, um, a clearing or a, you know, somewhere where we can have our backs to something as we. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, to the 
uh, to the east, there's still um, like a cliff wall that leads up to the uh, to the plateau. Yeah. Um, if you if you move away from the rose to uh, from the uh, rose towers, so you can see um, that there's something flying um, like high. The, these rose towers, there's re they're really high, like um, maybe three hundred feet, and we can see in the in the twilight of the waning day um, some kind of feathered creatures. Um, and when you move on, um, as soon as it gets dark, uh, or let's say before it gets dark, you can find um, a, a nice spot, um, like an overhang from the from the cliff wall. Yeah. Um, and so you make camp, I assume. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, I invite all the Greenlanders to drink with us, and I'm like... Mm -hmm. uh, is to Kazooie, who's healed our uh, our friend from a terrible affliction. <laughs> I mean, uh, Kazooie is making herself very scarce, so as not to fight <laughs> people any more than they already are. Oh. Yeah, they're murmuring. Hooray, yes, to her. Aye, well, you know, I mean, granted it was me who did most of the work rescuing you from that room thing, but... Couldn't have done it without Kazooie. Loyal companion, great sidekick, like all the all my friends here. Uh, and uh, we're we're really um, grateful. What the uh, Greenlander says, a man um, with uh, like a, a wounded arm, and um, you know, without you, uh, I don't know what would have happened. We would have we would have ended up like my uh, brother, who you know. I'm Any trails off? Aye. Well, to tomorrow, one that we can both see together. And he shares his hip flask with him, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, at, at that moment, um, you can see to the, uh, to the west, to the southwest, on the, um, on the shore. Um, you, you, can, you can see in the twilight, like, um, the, the silhouette of... Um, minimalist ruins like um, I don't know how would you like what's their f feature uh, let's say um, Kuzui what do you think what what makes them minimalist ruins um, off to the west um, they um, they are uh, they're composed of a slender almost spidery metal Mm -hmm. um so in other words there's they're they're almost they, they seem to be you know l like a little metal spider web just the tiny fragments of it of something that used to be much much larger and um and so they're they're just these 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 little uh, uh s slender bits of curving metal mm -hmm. you know that are half buried in the Half buried in the ground and reaching up, you know, a little bit towards nothing. Uh, and all of a sudden, um, as soon as the last ray of the sun disappears, and um, there's uh, like the sound of static uh, in the air, uh, and you can see um, this uh, big screen, maybe 50 meters uh, wide and 20 meters high, of um, flickering molds that um, suddenly appear. Good Lord. And um, from the from the screen emerges um, silhouettes of people that that um, enter the screen and, and they are phasing in and out of um, existence. And it's difficult to see from where you are um, what kind of people these are. Is this in the direction of the glow? Uh, this is in the di direction of what on your map is indicated as the gray glow. Uh, hey, Mish, will you come with me? I need to look at this a little closer. I, I, Kazooie, I mean, Azir, how are you feeling? 
I think she's asleep. Uh, are you? Uh, uh, I, I, I sort of like rouse and my eyes are kind of rolled up in my head. My tongue is sticking out and there's like drool hanging from my <laughs> mouth. And there's like a big old wad of like spittle in my fucking pillow. But I'm like, what? Uh, you want to come on? A, you want to have a, a wee shifty at these? Uh, some strange things down the road. What is? What's going on? Um, I, I, I don't know. It looks like people who are phasing in and out of existence. I'm. Uh, uh, do you have I'm, any? Do you have any? Like whatever the equivalent of coffee is. Oh, they have that cat coffee, right? Isn't that? Isn't that something in this world? Like, do you guys have any yes. coffee? Uh, you know, I don't want any drug coffee, but just like anything that'll wake me up that's not golden amber. <laughs> yes, oh, I, yes, yeah. There's no, there's yeah, there's, there's no, no civilization that doesn't have some right. So some, some stimulant. <laughs> I'll drink a couple of those and uh, get up and stretch. And you know, when I when I stretch, you can hear all my bones crack. You know, like cracking knuckles. Um, and uh, I'm like, well. If it ain't us, who who's gonna go? And then I, you know, suit up. I grab my shotgun. Uh, you know, uh, what else do I have? I have a flail. Uh, just gear up and then uh, ready to roll. I'll be mm -hmm. right back. Though I have to go grab my son's lunch. Give me. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in two seconds. So, cool. okay. So uh, let's uh, approach carefully. Them. Carefully, yeah. Spy carefully out. approach. I wanted to see if I can see some more detail. I wouldn't come out except this seems to be a phenomenon that only happens in night. Mm -hmm. I um, recommend, um, you know, if there's a, if there's a point where uh, you know, real stealth would be applicable, I'm, I'm thinking because he probably uh, goes out while we keep Overwatch, kind of thing because we're two big hulking guys in uh, yes in armor and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Azure is a big hulking gal, but your point is still valid. Yes. Yeah, yes. I know. <laughs> I, I was using I was using due to the non-gender specific way. Yeah. Just... yeah. Um, so when you get closer, um, you can see that the the people who had emerged, um, they, uh, and and that is more a question for you to describe. They resume their. Um, their existence from the long ago so they, they i assume that they move um inside of these uh, ruins or they maybe walk past the ruins and they do whatever they have done in in their not phasing life let's say um so hamish how does it look like what do we learn about their culture let's say it's just um that they greet each other with uh, a with ever elaborate personal bows. Uh, you know, each of them has an Indio that seems to de depict some form of like you know that it changes from person to person. There are similarities between the two. You know, if you were to study it, you might work out that there's like a kind of uh, like hierarchy and social identification mm -hmm. given by the greeting that each person gives to other people. Mm -hmm. Um, and they are, uh, I think, um, you know, what we would recognize as like uh, office buildings and couriers and like, um, you know, and like chai bringers and things like that, uh, mm -hmm. all like super technological and like uh, slightly, you know, like Mega City One's kind of um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, office mm -hmm. block. Yeah. <laughs> and. Um... I mean, do you observe the, uh, the the rules? Do you look for something? Do you approach the the, the screen itself? What do you do? Yes, I'm trying to. Uh, so this seems to be a this seems to be a a, a portal to um, a long time ago. Yeah, you remember that Kolpak, the shaman, said something about this place to you. He did. Um, uh, he said it might be a portal, it might be a trap, is uh, 
is, is, is what I remember. Um, uh -huh. The God, can we risk that? I say out loud. Hey, no, no reward without a bit of risk, eh? Are you guys waiting for me? Um, oh, you. I, I, no, no, we do. We wait. Okay. We're still talking about. Are you willing to do about. something very dangerous? Always, mate. Always. Well, here, take my hands then. And, I, thought I thought you'd never ask. And <laughs> um, I'm going to step through the step through the the globe. Yes. So we all step through three in the. Holding, yeah, on, triangle, hold, holding, holding on. on to each other. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I don't, I, I, you know, my knowledge of portals is limited, but I know one thing if you, <laughs> if you step through separately, you might not end up in the same place. Mm -hmm. I, I think um, that you say, my, I, my I, I desperately, and then I, and the worst possible outcome would be if we ended up in three different places. <laughs> well, uh, have I got news for you? <laughs> Can you all please roll a d20? And add, if you have it, your charisma modifier. So um, let's see, what is your charisma? Uh, we have. How, yeah, how do you, is our modifier in there? Uh, yeah, uh, well, it's the, the old school D&D &D modifier. So I think Kazooie, you have a, let's just double check. I have a, I have a 15, so I don't know. I have, a, I, I have some modifier. Yeah, they, you have a plus one. Okay. And the others, I think, roll flat. Yeah, and nobody has lower than nine, I think. Okay. We're trying to get high number. I yeah, I, rolled I guess. A, I rolled a 14. 11. Interesting. Abe? So we have Hamish as a 14. Does being a mountain elf help? Thanks. Excuse me? Does being a mountain elf help? Um, I'm not human. Uh, let's see. Intelligent creatures. Mm, I, th I think. Actually, I do think it grants you an advantage, which means you roll twice and take the better result. No, nope, still an 11. Okay. Two, two very average rolls. <clears throat> two different rolls. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and Azure? Hey. I think you might have Sorry, what am I, uh, what am I rolling? Uh, you D rolled 20. a D20 plus nothing. A what? Uh, just a D20. And you no. want to get high. You're rolling a, a charisma. Thing uh, oh, I rolled 15. I missed it. Well, no, high uh, is good. High is good. High is good. All right. So this is what happens. Um, so when you um, pass through this screen, um, it is almost like um, something is um, scanning you. And uh, you can see that the reality that you come from um uh, disappears and uh we start with um hamish uh from the perspective of kazooie and azure hamish also disappears he's gone um and what's left of him is a ghostly echo um so the, the, the interesting thing is that you um, um, re-emerge on the other side uh, and you can see that um, where you came from is somehow um, dimmer than before. Um, and what you're facing now is, is much more, um, it, it has much stronger colors. Uh, and for, let's see, uh, for uh, both Kazooie and Azure, you can see that the other um, person 
is starting to flickering and to to phasing uh, just as the the people that emerged from the screen um but you can also feel um something in your mind has changed um that there's there's something like um a spherical pressure in your in your mind that that uh, that presses against your skull, um, but the the um, uh, the experience of this this color changes um, is short lived, and so you you're on the other side of the screen. You didn't pass through a portal as far as you um, as far as the surrounding is concerned, but you have changed. Um, and obviously, the most uh, dramatic change is for Hamish. Uh, Hamish, what does it mean to be a ghostly echo of your former self? Um, I mean, I think like trip typical, uh, the ghost of Christmas past kind of uh, see through, uh, flickery, and uh, slightly trans, you know. Uh, like wispy, translucent. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Um, and when you try to speak, um, nothing comes out of your um, mouth, so the other others can't hear you. Uh, could you roll, uh, Will, a D four for me? As a three. Mm -hmm. um, and so how do uh, Kozui and Azure react? Hamish's ghost is like. I look at Kazui and I say, have you seen anything like this before? No. Uh, um. I'm going to send out my fetch and, uh -huh. see and see if he can talk to Hamish. Can I hear them? Yes, you can hear okay. them. Can and we're still we're on the other side of this. Can, uh, can Hamish see my fetch? Uh, yes. Okay, so you see, um, you see an Orient dragon come out of the, the little pink bottle, and um, it's the first time you see it, uh, Hamish. All right, pal. So, what do you? Uh, so, uh, the, the fetch uh, uh, is obviously a part of you, Kozumi. It is. So, what do you say? Uh, can you hear me? The uh, fetch says, and it's in a in a is in this sing song tone. Yes. So, mm -hmm. um, the fetch can communicate with ghosts, and yes. uh, Hamish uh, now can, is a ghost. Cool. I tell. Uh, Ah, oh, thank God. Tell Kazooie that this was a terrible idea. Walking through this thing. Why am I the one who gets a short straw, eh? What's going on? I I don't understand what happened at all. I'm sorry. Um, uh, you seem to be a, a ghost. But I didn't feel you dying. No, I didn't feel me dying either. Um... Better bloody not have died, or I'll be having words. I'll be haunting you until we Are get you... to the black city. No worries about that. We we may be shifted forward or backward in time when you were or will be a ghost. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know. That's just a guess. Right. Um, I'm... Uh, but bear, bear with me. We'll figure this out. Yeah, um, he grumbles and says many unflattering things that maybe your fetch does or does not do not. Maybe uh, tidies up before it tells it back to you. The, the fetch is me, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's an extension of my soul. Yeah, uh, Hamish doesn't get that, so he's, uh, he's, he's he keeps speaking to it as though it's a second person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It. Um. Yeah. It basically it 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 it, it sings. Hmm. Um, musical things, but you can understand it perfectly. Um, it, it doesn't seem to be actually making words, but you're, it, it's 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 but its meaning is is crystal clear. Um, um, 
a Brennan the, and a, a, what is me. what is the surroundings look like um, just now the surroundings um so you can see that the the ruins that you have seen before um seem to be a little less flimsy so um it, it is as if you have traveled um to a time where uh, the ruins were it, it, they were still ruins but they are less um right. destroyed by time um and you can also see that there are um a, a lot of um uh entrances to something underground so as if um almost like maybe uh, like nuclear shelters or something everywhere in in between the, the buildings uh, and i would like you uh, brandon and abe kazooie and azure to make your percentile role to see if you find um vile parts or omens okay is it still the same 20 percent yes uh, Oh, snap. I rolled an 11, I believe. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It, wait. On the D100, uh, I guess it's, yeah, it's an 11. Two ones is an 11, yes. Uh, it's a uh, 10 on the 100 and uh, one on the, so Perfect. do I get like, do I get like a critical? Do I get a whole vile body or something? <laughs> you don't. Um, but I think that. I'm using the same roller. Everybody else is. I don't see anybody else's roll. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm rolling at home because my connection oh, okay. sucks. Uh, uh, and fine. I my work has blocked a roll with oh, me. Okay. Uh, my phone, All right. My well, phone is I, currently I, I I um I failed my percentage roll. It's got to seventy seven. Okay. Um. So, so I can't I I can't figure out the pattern. Mm -hmm. I want to. What are these? What are these? Um, underground places. Why is why does it why did they have so many of them? Maybe it's where they uh they lived in tall buildings. Maybe they needed to hide from the destruction and they built these two to uh, uh escape or try to escape the devastation. You know, it makes sense that something destroyed all this rather than that they just crumbled away because there would be more yes that they is. just crumbled away something must have have destroyed most of it we've seen uh, we've seen other ruins and they while uh they're not in the same condition these have de definitely seemed like they've seen a harder time let's go look um and see if we can I don't know. Salvage something from this, and then I'm well. I'm and I'm th I'm thinking about what to do about you, Hamish. Hmm. Um, I don't. Um, can you put the, in? Is the can, is the screen the portal like the? I can't remember what word you used. The screen is it there? It's still there when we look back. It, yes, it is still there. A screen of. Well, hopefully, we can traverse it back. But let's at least let's at least get something from this. Mm -hmm. I'm, so tempted, I'm so tempted just to step Hamish straight back through there. And see what well, happens. I wouldn't blame you if you did. But I'm just, I'm just like I'd have to roll again if I wanted to come back into the <laughs> place, and it could be no, much no, worse. No, no, no. Second. If you're going to go back, if you're going to go back, don't come back again. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll float around with a ghost, right? Because uh, I can. Worst thing that happens is I can always just come back here. Well, also, um, you can see things that perhaps, yeah, that are that and. Uh, yeah. And you can pass through walls, uh, probably. Do the goat? Do the go, do the spectral people look any different to me? Um, yeah, there are no spectral people on the other side of the screen, but you can see them through the the swirling modes, um, and they seem to um, flicker in the same way that Kuzui and Azure do. So it's more than more that they you know your friends have uh have the same appearance now than the people that emerged mm. in the first place. we're all we're all yeah they're they're from much further back in time than mm. we went so they still don't really exist here 
but only the screen is probably all the times mashed together in a way what you see hmm. i i don't have time oh. time chronomancy is its own thing and i i only know i only know little bits and pieces of it it's such a rare um discipline for anyone to study because it's so difficult to use what 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 kind of mancy sorry Oh, chronomancy. Um, the, the oh, yes. Understanding of the manipulation of time. Right. Um, I mean, we, I mean, prophets, you know, prophetic gifts like yours are about as far as anyone gets it. In a way, you're, so, you're something of a natural chronomancer, but um, the, well, anyway, let's, let's pick one of these subterranean things and see what's down there. Let's and, go. Mm -hmm. yeah. can, can so think... my question is, uh, Azure, I have a little bit of lag. That's why I switch on off the camera. That's fine. Um, Azure, so you, um, for you, there's one entrance more um, attractive than the others, uh, and it and it gives you some kind of information about a potential um, location of a vile part. What is it? Is it like a scripture on the wall? Is it a, a symbol of a company? Um, there was where I found the last file part in like that, uh, in that. Um, uh, the Jade Baobab, I think. Well, no, there was one underground. I'm sorry, it wasn't the last one. It was a couple when we got all that stuff from the underground. Um, there was like big machine that the vile parts were in. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Oh. So like there were like these giant, like really big red kind of tubes that ran from it, you know, maybe like a mm -hmm. foot or two across uh, and they ran mm -hmm. all over the place, you know, and the destruction they had fallen down. Maybe they had, had, you know, some cords, you know, like maybe they were run through the ceiling or the walls or something like that. But mm -hmm. uh, it was like a red, there's a red, there's a red cable, an orange, a, a yellow cable and a green cable, we'll say. And those mm -hmm. cables are running through the walls here. And, and disappear, yeah, disappear inside yeah. the wall. Yeah, yep. Uh, and the door itself looks like um, like a really heavy metal um, like vault door. Uh, I have a feeling, uh, Kazooie, I have a feeling that one with the cables, uh, we want to, it would be beneficial if we check that first. We just have to figure out how to get through that wall. Um, Door, sorry. All right. Well, um, let's get a look at it. I can't tell you why I have that feeling, but I can't tell you a whole lot now that I've woken up and I have this sort of uh, empathy thing that I'm finding well, uh, diff so difficult. It seems like a reason as reasonable choice as any of them. So let's go there. Yeah, when you um, uh, approach the door, you can see that from, uh, let's see, I need to roll the die. Uh, I actually use the, um, the die roller. Give me a second. Um, I pick a B6, three. So from um, between the uh, buildings, Um, you can actually see um, what looks like um, a person that has been um, partially transformed into a machine, like think uh, Tetsu the Iron Man, uh, and they look really, really sick. Uh, in fact, um, something about them is nauseating. Uh, Hamish, what is it? Is it like a smell? Is it the, the, a sound? Um, yeah, I think it is a... Uh, I think it's a noise, actually. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's like a, a low-frequency um, mm -hmm. hum, like like bass feel that uh, just slightly <laughs> makes your stomach turn, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and they, they slowly approach you with that hum. What do you do? But they're they're still like twenty uh, meters away. 
uh, can I get a vibe off of them, whether they're like their surface thoughts, whether they're hostile or, uh, um, I'm happy to roll for it since it's new. Um, um, if you want to do that. No, I think for, you know, just like the, the, the general vibe, you don't have to roll. Okay. Um, uh, what you get from them is, um, like, you tell me, it's almost like um, you're hearing uh, the thoughts of um, some corrupted machine. So there's some kind of um, dying, corrupted code in the machine. And that's what that's what I'm getting from these guys? Yes. It, it's um, like the, the, the creature is confused um, and it is um, scared. I lean over to Kazooie and Hamish and I'm like, uh, it's afraid. I don't think it's afraid of us, but it's afraid and sad. Um, do you have, do we have a way to speak to it? I yell something at it. Does it respond? <laughs> um, uh, it, it looks up to you. But oh, it, you can you can hear me. Uh, and the uh, the low, it, it speaks over the low hum, uh, and it says, um, "I must protect." Yeah, it comes closer. That's good, mate. Uh, it can hear me, guys, and it seems that it wants to protect something. Uh, yeah, from uh, us. <laughs> Uh, I shoot it if I can. <laughs> <laughs> so, Azure, you see that uh, Hamish Ghost is is opening his mouth and and uh, mouthing some words, uh, and and I don't know if Kazuwe translates with a fetch. Sure. Uh, but you can also you can also see that Hamish is obviously reading his uh, shotgun. Well, Hamish, what about the fractal blade? Do you think that would All come through? Yeah, if this doesn't work, <laughs> is, it a re is, I, is either of those real on this plane? I don't know. Yeah, um, we'll, 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 we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Um, uh, friend, uh, you're sick. Can it understand me? Uh, it can. Okay, friend, uh, well, you're sick. It, it reacts to you. Uh, it's un it's a bit unsure if it understands you because it says the the protocol. The what? The, pro, 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 it's a machine word. Uh, um, I I don't really know what it means. Friend, you're you're uh, you're hurt and you're scared. I can see. Um, if you like, we can um, no, relieve no. you of this pain and misery. Uh, it's a it's about like uh, maybe ten meters away, and it it falls to its knees and it vomits. And you can see, well, Kozui, how can you see that it is um, a necrotic vom? Uh, voms are these biomechanical uh, machines or infected um, bio creatures. Um, and, and obviously, necrotic means whatever yes. the code is, it destroys itself. Um. Yeah, the um, uh, it is um, it, it is it is dripping fluid. And what's the the mechanical part? Mm -hmm. it, it also has like a, a mechanical uh, like whatever it drips. It, it's yes. not purely uh, biological. No, I don't think it is. It's 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 no. It's 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 a lubricant. Mm -hmm. um, of, of some sort uh, that's just uh, yeah it's kind of just dripping down its frame and and making little little pu little puddles where it as it were where it walks um, I think I'm gonna shoot it guys wait wait uh, give me a minute Hamish all right you go okay and he takes a step back behind as you <laughs> <laughs> So I walk towards it, mm -hmm. and uh, does it seem like it's? Am I getting any new vibes off of it? Like it's going into protective mode or attack mode? 
No, it seems it seems utterly confused and uh, at the moment not really acting in any way. It's reacting to some kind of inner turmoil. All right. So I walk up to it and I walk behind it and I say, friend, uh, he, I think this is the only way to help you. And I pull out my shotgun and shoot it in the back of the head. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Yes. Oh, no, I'm spoke. I was going to say you can take the fractal blade, but I just realized I'm ghostly. I don't want to go through that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think yeah, that. Yeah. You know, I think that the shotgun is probably a better approach. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the head explodes in a spray of um, of this lubricant, uh, brain matter, and uh, and also um, you know uh, what's it called, diodes and uh, and other computer parts. Um, and it just crumbles to the ground. It was the only way. This thing was, uh, this thing, we couldn't have saved it. It's funny how it seemed to be able to speak to me and use at the same time, even if it wasn't saying much, uh, much of worth. It is strange. Nothing very entities can do that and, and wherever it's rather powerful wherever it's not like making it more hard for us i want to imagine that uh because he is not translating everything that apes that mm -hmm. says to as you are so it's a very like mishmashed conversation <laughs> yeah well, very confused about what the other's doing yeah because who is reacting to something that azure can't hear yeah um so you enter the um, the you approach the door again. Yeah. Um, so um, it is closed, and it seems to be somehow um, it is closed, and it is uh, you can't open it by you know any apparent means. Uh, can I? Can hey, we use? Like... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Hi, Hamish. Um, can you see if you can look on the other side? Yeah, I uh, see that. I see if I can how I interact with the door, and uh, you know, I test out my ghost abilities for the first uh -huh. time. Uh huh. You s step right through it. Okay, because I was going to say if I don't, I definitely walk straight into it confidently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can even stick your head first uh, into the wall uh, through the door and look, and your your body stays outside if you want to do this. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think my head goes through, and then a thumb goes back, and let's see if it's up or down. <laughs> um, I think it's up. So um, there's a uh, like a concrete staircase um, leading down, uh, and the whole thing is illuminated by these uh, like red, um, I don't know, uh, emergency lights, and they are the the three cables, the three colored cables running um, alongside the wall. Strange. Can you uh, tell? Can you tell how this door opens? Yeah. Is there any? Do I see any mechanism for the door? Or yes. Uh, so inside is definitely like a, a wheel that you can turn, and on the side is some kind of panel. Um, I, you have seen that before uh, inside of uh, um, Johnny Seven, for example. So it's a it's some kind of interface. But I imagine it, I can't interact with it. No. Can I search? Can I find a stick or something and uh, uh, poke around in the body of the vome and see if I find like a pass card or something like that? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, yeah, you can definitely um, you definitely find uh, like like a CPU or something, some kind of hard drive. I mean, your um, cataract, your um, biomechanical salamander, right, uh, is um, is able to interface with these things so you can identify them i guess okay um should now the baker uh, with a stick oh, okay okay well i was gonna say uh i'd have to switch over to cataract and that takes a while right because i'm uh, currently in esp mode yes that takes that, that would take one day yeah i'll stay in esp mode and i'll just poke around with a stick mm -hmm. i mean you, you uh, what i wanted to say is you can identify them definitely I can identify the, the, the thing that would get us through. 
Well, you can identify the the thing that would connect to um, a machine. Hmm. All right. Um, let's see. Is there? A, I mean, I'll, I'll assume that my that my uh, Mad Max armor has some sort of gloves, and mm -hmm. I'll see if I could drag whatever that interface is over to mm -hmm. the door and see if it's got like uh, if we can use that as a key of some sort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, you definitely find um, a slot where it would fit um, as uh, next to the door. Mm -hmm. um, I think the the difficult part is um, you know running the program, so to speak. Right, I've killed the brain already. Jeez, <laughs> um, uh, hold on a second. Let me see if I can come up with anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what kind of pack do you have. If you can, um, I mean, maybe Kuzul can use the fetch somehow. Um, hey, so the fetch can come through oh. the door somehow? No. Hey. It's not, it's I have an idea. The, the, the fetch um, the, the, the fetch can't interact with material objects. Um, it's, oh, well. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, have, it's, it's, oh, it's, actually, it's fantastic at non-material objects, <laughs> uh, you know, but um, uh, but it's as solid as you are. Can I, uh, I have uh, in my pack, I have mm -hmm. the brain of a vial. Can I use that to hotwire it? Uh, of course you can. Okay. Um, so... I so I, I ask uh, uh, I, I kind of say hey uh, team please don't mention this to anyone uh, this is part of my uh, this is part of my uh, spiritual practice it'll help us here but we don't want to let anyone know that I have these things mm -hmm. and then I pull I open up my whatever my bag of holding or whatever it is. And mm -hmm. I uh, the rucksack on as well. right, and I pull out this kind of like egg shaped, uh, this egg shaped crystal uh, thing, uh, and uh, it doesn't quite look like a brain. It's definitely got veins running, like you know, veins kind of like a, as a in relief on the outside of it, um, and it's got like I don't know, it's got some sort of apparatus at the bottom, like kind of where it would connect to the you know the the brain stem to the nerve center. When uh, when you put uh, pull out the um, the veiny crystal uh, for Kazui, it looks like um, there's like a hole in reality. The thing is completely black, um, so you see the cutout of um, the the brain. Kazui gasps. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's totally super evil. It is. It's, I suppose it's nothing I didn't already know, but it's still shocking to see it. Um, and Azure, how do you to connect the the brain with the, um, you know, with the side of the door? Um, so it's got like, so where that base is, um, mm -hmm. I take that and uh, we'll say that the uh, that the key was built into the uh, Vohm's arm. And I try and I connect the arm to the brain, and then I mm -hmm. stick the arm socket, the, the, the key into the socket. Nice. Uh, and indeed, the door opens with a with a hiss to uh, adjust the you know the different pressures. And then, so I take the arm off, I clean off the brain, and I put it back in my bag, and I said. I, it's not a good idea to use this a lot, but I felt like it was probably a good idea from here. Mm -hmm. uh, I will also tick our, um, where's my clock? I will also tick the clock, so it now it has three out of eight. Um, but the door opens uh, and 
uh, behind it, you can see uh, the both of you can see this um, staircase leading down and the cables on the wall. Let's follow so, these cables. I think they'll lead us somewhere important. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Um, and so, uh, Hamish, you pass through a. Um, it almost looks for you, not for you, Will, not for you, Hamish, like uh, a 50s, 1950s um, fallout shelter. Um, and what gives away the first room that this was meant to, uh, for people to stay for like decades? Um, store rooms uh, with shelf upon shelf of sealed goods. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, you know uh, rations and things like that uh, and actually um, you find these ceramic tins of biomorphic protein uh, and it is let's see uh, like three sacks you can harvest if you uh Put in the shift. Okay, but we don't have the um, the space for it at the moment, do we? Um, well, you would. Uh, you you could leave it behind, and then um, I mean, Kazui and Azure at least can still inter. You know, interact, interact. with. We yeah. can we can pull them up when we get back on the way back, right? Yeah, I would say that Azure is because you are practically the Hulk. You can, um, like encumbered, you can carry three sex. I forgot, did my strength go up since the last episode? It's more like a narrative thing. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's not like I get like, I'm at strength 14 now, so. Mm -hmm. um, and you uh, pass through the room uh, and then, um, the uh, the stairs go uh, deeper still, uh, and that um, that room is some kind of boiler room um, with pipes and um, you know uh, engines. Uh, and in between, uh, you find uh, one of these um, leaden containers that you know uh, Azure is. Uh, a container for a vile part. And this thing is shaped like, what, what kind of organs do you st uh, already have? A brain, a lung, a liver, I think? Yeah, I have a, a heart, a brain, a liver, and intestines. An intestine. So um, you find a pretty big one that is the lungs. All right. So, um, and from that room, there are still more, um, uh, what's it called? Like more, uh, uh, I'm waiting for the word, uh, hallways. Yeah. Hallways that lead uh, deeper into the complex. Uh, but you can also hear noises, uh, like the hum from the, um, from the necrotic foam. From where? Like the um, hum from the necrotic foam. So yes. there are there are more foams down here. Perhaps. Oh, I see. Do you do you, Kazooie? Do you want to go? Do you want to look into this, Hamish, or should we? I mean, my work here is done, but mm -hmm. obviously, if you want to continue, I, I will back you up. I don't. Hamish, you're I the mean... hero. <clears throat> Hey, but there's no one to save down here or anything, is there, other than me, apparently, because I'm a ghost. <laughs> no, I, well, it seems likely that any people, as opposed to Vohms, that were here are very long dead. And yeah. I'll be honest with you, I'm not really liking being a ghost. I don't, I'm not sure if I can touch things or what will be happening or if a necrotic Vohm will rip my head off and not be able to touch you or if I can get back to you, normal. You have you have good company, though, but no one, no, I've never met a ghost that enjoyed it. 
Uh, Can we search this area for some kind of like technology that would Mm -hmm. allow us to like, like, uh, you know, not capture Hamish, but you know, like, or like, I think we, I think we need to take him back through the portal. That's it. We just go head back. Well, that's, that's the only thing. These people didn't have time travel capability. Um, they, they, they don't show everything that we've seen shows signs of technology and not of, and technology doesn't know how to deal with spirits. So we had there's, almost, there's almost the divide between technology and magic there and it revolves around the intangible. Um, Take your word for it. Cause I'm, concern, I'm concerned that we're going to, I mean, we're going to run into more of those uh, un, uh, unfortunate creatures and they may decide that we're a direct threat to them. Bye. All right, let's head out. I mean, so unless if you see something here that's worth taking back, well, then fine. Um, by all means, but other lacking that. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. Was in 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 this particular room, of course. If oh no, were... no, 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 not in this particular room. No. Okay, all right. So I'll I grab can... the food and we'll head out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So you drag because. Uh... What is biomorphic protein? Well, anyway, uh... I ask. Azure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, I can. That's I what mean, it says on the. That's what it says can, on the container. Can we even read what what's on the can? Yes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um. Well. Uh, I know what protein is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but the I don't bio, understand what the, I don't understand what biomorphic means. Bio would be life. Morphic means changing. So mm. maybe it's some sort of. Uh, like protein change. that we could that uh, changes somehow. I mean, I'm not going to eat any because I ate a bunch of biomorphic eggs and look what happened to me. But maybe we oh. can feed it to the Greenlanders. Well, it's valuable trade goods, but we yeah. <laughs> don't admit do we have it from for trade goods. We'll take it back and let everybody else decide. Right. Sounds good. Okay, so you drag the um, the five sacks out of the um, just three, I think. Up. Yeah, three sacks. Oh, just just three. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, and and, yeah, and Dadger can carry them. He's just she's just encumbered. Mm-hmm. Um, and you approach the um, the screen again, um, and by that time, I think it's. Uh, I'm going to do something before we go through the screen. Okay. Um. Hamish. Hi. Hey. Um, so um, let me um, let me wrap my fetch around you. All right then. Okay, the fetch will coil around you. It's it's it, it's snake like. Um, you know, it's an elong elongated sort of oh. dragon. Um, and it will wrap itself around your body and kind of put its chin on your shoulder. <laughs> um, well, I hope this does something. Well, I don't. If if the thing tries to separate you, at least I can pull back. It's worth a shot, right? Holding hands didn't work, but maybe this will. <laughs> uh, you know, well, skin cut. This is much more. Um, intimate than skin contact is. Uh, so yeah, let's give it a go. Okay. <clears throat> so you pass um, through the screen again, and this time um, you're bathed in a light of obscure shades. Um, and these shades are folding abruptly, um, and you're on the other side. And uh, Hamish is a ghostly echo of himself, and Kazooie and Ezra are still phasing in and out of existence. Shit. Ah, goddammit. So now we're like half half spirits? Mm Mm-hmm. Shit. Every couple of seconds you um, you become uh, immaterial, uh, and then you become uh, uh, material again. Do you return to the um, to the camp? 
Maybe it'll just wear off. Maybe it will when the when the the the, the glow the glow seems to be a nocturnal phenomenon. Do these are there any other people who are fading in and out here? Yes. Uh, I guess on the fade, I'll ask them if they know how what if they know what's happening. Uh, they don't react to you. No, they don't see us at all. How about if I switch back to like when I flip over to? Oh, it's every like second, right? So it's like or, or every couple of seconds. So it's not yes. like where it's any particular. Um, no, so yeah, if if they perceive us, it's for a flicker of a moment, and they probably yeah, don't even realize that they've seen anything. Can you use your? Uh, can you use your drag? Like, uh, do, do I even see the dragon, or is that no. just like? Is, okay. is that no? No, unless you can see my soul. Can um, you can you do what you did with Hamish to them? I I'll try once. It's well, if it hurts thing. you, if you do, if it's going to hurt you, then I don't know. I've never. This is this is new for me, but I'll try once. Um, I'll see if the fetch can can take hold of someone when they flicker into existence and hold on to them. Mm -hmm. um, you have the feeling that they um, that they occupy occupy just a different uh, I don't know. Um, modulation of phasing, so to speak. So there's no way to interact with them. Yeah. Uh, not even with your soul. Yeah. No. That's a. That's an. Well, it's interesting information. It means that the the ideas that people have had about different um, different worlds that can coexist in the same place and time mm -hmm. is true. No, I can't. They're they're. They're not spirits. Um, hmm. We're just they're apparitions. We are, we are seeing the intrusion of another time or place or both here, and the phenomenon is making it perceivable. But they're not actually there. What does that make of us? I don't know. We may, if we are. If we're uh, if we're if we're unlucky, we've been shifted into a different reality. Um, uh, or it may be a phenomenon that will re re instate itself once we get in the daytime, or once we get away from this place. Now, can can I ask a? Um can I ask a question that uh, yeah. because I'm flickering in and out of existence or, or uh -huh. this plane every second or two, can I see yes. Hamish? Can I see Hamish like one of those zeotrope things and communicate? <laughs> uh, that is an interesting. <laughs> idea. Yeah, I, I think so. It's it's you like use the word use the word zeotrope in a game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's worth a point. In my, in my <laughs> extra extra XP for vocabulary. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like it's the, that's a, it's the first time I've heard that word used in a role playing game. <laughs> I think it makes sense that um, when you flicker out of, uh, when you phase out of existence, is when you would um, be able to to communicate or hear. Um, but obviously, it, it it's um, as if somebody uh, is playing with a volume knob uh, right. every two seconds. Between two blinks of an eye. Right. This is even worse. I swear. <laughs> you, when you when you can hear me, it's just swear word. You know, like the end of one, <laughs> the start of another one. <laughs> I was looking for inspiration, Hamish. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we had. I mean, it's either go back in there and hope that we can find stuff, and we don't just disintegrate or something on the third attempt or we head back to the caravan and hope that this wears off or that we can find some sort of remedy further down the line well if i mean we can always come back yeah unless yeah. we dissipate but you know i mean i think we should go back to the go back to the camp and see you know spend some time i would like to i would like to uh do it take an oracle 
but unfortunately, mm -hmm. it will take oh, wait me a, a while. I'm, I know what to do. God damn it. Ugh, I'm so caught up in the strangeness and newness of this place that I <sighs> seem to, that I just forget some of my training. Okay, then I'm going to do an augury. Mm -hmm. um, do you return to the camp or do you do, uh, do the augury on the shore? Uh, mm. The camp is not far, right? It's just... No, not... <sighs> but we will scare the living piss out of them. Well, we'll, we'll make sure we, we speak to Austin's first. Uh, the Greenlanders can... Uh... <laughs> can take it i'm sure well they won't see you at all i mean they'll just presume that you died or we left you behind let's see the ghostly version of me yes mm -hmm. i but that, that's going to put the that yeah that'll 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 make them feel reassured that's one of my friendly <laughs> ghost i'm always reassuring no matter what i'm gonna do it right here if that's all right oh, fine. Mm -hmm. So, Kazui, how does the, the augury look like? Um, the, um, I've got, uh, I have, I have something old of mine, maybe my kettle, and I draw a circle and I put it that at one, on one, um, in one spot. And then I take a can of that food <laughs> to represent the, the the time that these things came from. Mm -hmm. And I put that in another spot across from it. Um, and I'm going to rig a little tripod with a, a pendulum over that. Um and um and i'm going to 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 still it um and then i'm going to uh and it's it's made so the pendulum can so the, the i stir up the dirt underneath the pendulum which is pointed so it can trace um a figure in the dirt mm -hmm. And then I'm going to uh, to concentrate, and I'm going to ask the pendulum, um, <clears throat> "What we should do? Is this something that we should we should go back towards the, the the time to move away from it, or is there something else?" So the pendulum can swing between the can and what was the other thing? And and the the other thing is um, it represents you know the the you know the, the world we left basically our the our current our current uh, <laughs> no, I hesitate to call it mundane world um, mm -hmm. but the the familiar um, you know is this so is this is this solution towards or away from the um, you know from the uh, uh, the the warped place in time. Um, I'll actually put. I'll actually uh, I'll put out a representation of the of the sun and the moon, as well at the other two poles. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe the answer is that, that this will be this is something that we just need to wait till the morning, mm -hmm. yeah. or this is something that we have to resolve the next night. Um, and then so I'm going to and I, I'm going to interpret it. The pendulum is going to do what it does, and then I will figure out what that means. Yes, um, the the pendulum swings. Uh, and when you ask the question, it um, changes its trajectory immediately, and it in a pendles uh, between the sun and uh, the object that uh, represents the mundane world. That's a pretty dramatic answer. Um, I think we have to get away from this, and that the morning will rectify this and that if we go back in or it, we are chancing uh, permanent changes and this is what I tell everyone well 
I, I can't do an Oracle until tomorrow. So yeah, um, well, this, this is, this is my, go. this is my profession. Yes. I, I, I trust <laughs> you. Let's go. I, I'm a, you know, it's like, in all this, I forget. It's like, you're trained as a soothsayer, you know, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this is people come to you with questions like this. So yes, let's get away from this thing. Let's go back and cause, get back to the caravan and cause as little disturbance as we can stand. As, and and um, and see what the morning brings. Can we when find you, it, Can we find oh. any white sheets with eyes cut out? <laughs> you could have in the bunker. <laughs> oh, stop, stop that. Um, <laughs> when you approach the uh, the caravan, uh, like the truck, uh, you're hailed by Austin's, who says, "What the fuck." A temporary phenomenon, I hope. I believe. What happened to Hamish? He's well, he's he's here. You just can't see him. Oh wow! He got the worst of it. <laughs> he did, and he's all right. Um, all right, then. but he's just he'll you can't see him. This but, will wear off in the morning. I say with a confidence I don't actually feel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I need to reassure them so that they don't freak out <laughs> yeah the the the, um, the greenlanders are all asleep um, yes good thank 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 the moon for small favors <laughs> so um what does hamish do i mean you don't feel the need to sleep um hamish tries to realizes that he can't drink and he's very upset <laughs> uh and uh being bored he's uh just gonna mess around with his ghost shotgun and his ghost sword and you, you, you can probably <laughs> enjoy things that smell good and can i smell anything though i mean sometimes usually often spirits can mm. you can smell and okay. you can hear okay tasting is a problem yeah yeah, um, yeah. To taste. That's why no, they. No, no one can hear me. That's why so they. Do, that's why they do burnt offerings. You know, because <laughs> the, because the the spirits can smell, can smell the roasting meat and appreciate that, even though they can't eat it. Mm -hmm. I, I hang around Austin's because Austin's is smoking lots, and it's something to. Smell. <laughs> All right. So the next morning, when Kazu and Azure uh, wake up, you're solid as a rock. Uh, there's no phasing whatsoever. Um, and Hamish is still a ghost. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Uh, uh, Azure, come with me. <laughs> we need to run back to where the screen is and see if Hamish is there. Okay, let's go. So you return to the um, the screen. The screen is gone. Um, you just see the um, uh, these ruins. Um, you can also see um, like three or four figures um, standing on the beach, and they are completely um, frozen in time, as it seems. Uh, and even from afar, you can see that they are. They, they look exactly like um, the cold volumes that uh, Azure and I think Hamish have seen on the uh, old isle. Elongated uh, heads, like long limbs, a uh, gray, um, like uh, slick skin. And they're frozen? Well, they, 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 they don't move. What the... Those are, those are the, uh, I, the the cold volumes. Yeah, volumes. From your description, but they're not moving. I look and shrug. Mm. Uh, is, is 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 Hamish's body anywhere here? Uh, no. Damn. I was hoping he was just discorporated. Crap. I wish we had kept. I wish I hadn't let that body get away. I'm kicking myself. Oh, no, I'm not going to need another body, are we? No, Jesus. he wants his own. <laughs> On my own. What are these? 
Why are these why are these things here? Listen, maybe someone in the Jade Power Up can help. Yeah, we can ask uh, the witch. Maybe she can help us. Hey, not coming up with any better ideas here, are we? Uh, can, can I? Um, no. Can, uh, well, I guess whatever. Um, do you want to do an oracle? Yeah, I was going to say, can I switch to oracle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I roll a d20. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what no, 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 no. Your oracle uh, is... is uh, automatic? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> You just have to tell me what do you want to um, have information about. I want to as have specific as possible. Uh, Hamish's corporal outcome. <laughs> um, you can see Hamish completely intact, um, and I assume he is. Uh, let's see. I wasted I my oracle. He... <laughs> Shit, I just thought of something better. Oh well. Mm -hmm. He's on a he's on a ferry, um, standing on the in the front of the ferry, looking over the the water. Um, and as like very often in the last uh, two or three days. Um, that pretty hopeful um, vision of the future with uh, Hamish being strong and rainbow bearded as always um, is disturbed. So the, um, that vision disappears and instead you see um, calcinated tendrils that lead up uh, hundreds and hundreds of meters and somehow you follow these tendrils. Um, to a uh, to the underside of a floating island, and then um, the coating of these tendrils uh, tendrils um, they explode, and you can see one tendril after the other snapping, and the island slowly moving. Right, so I come out of my oracle. Well, Hamish. I've got some good news. Kazooie, I've got some bad news. <laughs> uh, I say, Hamish, you will re be returned to your body. I've seen you safe and sound. Um, Kazooie, uh, there, there's a floating island uh, that's, that was, that's been held down by tentacles. Uh, it's, the tentacles have been broken, and it's unmoored now, and it seems to be on the prowl. I'm not sure what that means, but... I've seen my visions always come to pass. How many it was held by tentacles or by cables? Tentacles. Like, like uh, yeah. It is described as tendrils. Tendrils. Oh, tendrils, I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. Well, we disturbed something. But as long as Hamish is going to be okay. I've seen floating islands. It has not been it has not been a good omen to see them. There is a lot there is some serious power going on. Uh it it yes. ejected me from my vision. That's never happened before. Uh I was thrown out of it. Um it was a giant pyramid with an eye on top. And I saw it quite a while ago. I remember. And I remember hearing a little bit about this one. Yeah, I saw you back. Right, and so that's the, the, the that's the danger of that's the da one of the dangers of foreseeing the future. Right, as sometimes the future looks back at you. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Right. It's why I don't. It's why I don't. I prefer not to have my fetch out. It's, it's my gift. I. It's, uh, it was a curse and a blessing that I was born with. Ever since I was young, I've had these visions. But I've never seen anything like this island before. You could also see in your um, uh, in your vision because of the um, uh, um, you know the, the where the sun was in in relation to everything that it will happen uh, like that uh, Hamish will have a solid body again in three days. 
I mean, maybe maybe before that, but in three days he will be uh, back again. Okay. So I, I, I communicate that, and I have a, I have a strong feeling that you'll be back in your body in three days, Amish. Uh, so stand strong as you always do, um, and continue to give us your leadership and guidance. He gives you. He gives you the finger. <laughs> <laughs> and then I start laughing. <laughs> I start laughing yeah. after I say that. <clears throat> not in a mean spirited way, but in you know, of like course. I'm not like I'm busting his chops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, well, let's get out of here. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm, um this is <sighs> Uh, it's fascinating, but um, but I think we've had enough of it. I've had more than enough. <laughs> Let's leave those vomes alone. I don't need to. We don't need to jump into any more combat. <laughs> yes, um, the Greenlanders, when they see uh, Hamish's ghost, um, they are obviously shocked, um, and you can uh, you can pick up Azure that they whisper about Kazooie having um, cursed him. Um, but you drive on um, and you pass uh, for uh, a, a whole day, you pass these um, uh, ruins and they get uh, fewer and fewer until um, at the end of the day, you reach um, the Rusty Bridge. Um, and uh, over the Rusty Bridge, there are these um, red-like mechs um, crawling. Like, they're, they are the size of rats, not the size of mechs. Um, and they seem to, um, you know, interact, like they, they seem to try to repair the bridge that is potholed uh, and looks um, less sturdy than you would hope, um, but they don't seem to have anything to repair it with. Um, and uh, way, way down, uh, you know, if you, if you look down the canyon, you can see that's uh, like a, a black, incredibly deep canyon uh, and you can see to the east um, the the tops of um, these uh, black glassy skyscrapers sticking out of the um, out of the canyon uh, and to the to the west on the other side of the um, canyon you can see the uh, the gigantic jade baobab I'm not in any mood to go to the obsidian uh, knives right now. I think mm -hmm. the no. now up. No, no, we need to. We get, need to regroup. We need to drop off the uh, the Greenlanders and probably convert some of our trade goods if we can. So you you have the feeling that, uh, as I said, so the bridge is, um, you know, it's it's not. A completely frail or anything, uh, but you can see great flakes of um, rust falling through the potholes. Um, and you have the, I don't know, I don't know. If you are all on the, the wagons, uh, that might be a problem. No, well, we, we would get out, uh, every, everybody get out and walk, except who's ever driving. Mm hmm. Unless I mean, there's somebody who's sick, yeah. I'm guessing it makes no difference for Hamish. <laughs> no, Hamish can float uh, yeah. over the bridge, no problem. Yeah, if if everybody is walking, um, the red, the these um, red like Max will uh, actually avoid you, uh, and you make it on the other side without any problem. Mm -hmm. um, Hamish, you, when you float over the bridge, you caught, you catch the um, an interesting sight. So behind a, a a hill to the southwest, you see um, the top of a um, a porcelain walker sticking out, but as if it is trying to hide. 
what was that bit again? Sorry, I missed the half of that, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. Um, so uh, you do remember the porcelain walker that you stole from yes. the porcelain yeah. citadel? Yeah. Um, and a similar one, if not even a bit bigger, is hidden in the hills to the southeast. Uh, I tell everyone, and I'm going to go scout it out while they're crossing, while they're, you know, getting crossing themselves ready. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the assumption, and I'm going to do it with all of my ghost spectral abilities, such as uh, standing in in scenery to, you know, yeah. have my eyes poking out and nothing else. That kind of stuff. You can definitely um, be inside a tree um, and uh, have a good look. So um, it's uh, it's a four legged walker. Um, it is pretty big. There are two. Um, porcelain princess standing on one of the legs. Um, the the walker itself has some kind of uh, turrets on its mouth. It, it looks like an 8080. I mean, who am I kidding? Just it's porcelain. Um, and they, uh, as I said, they um, make the, the, the whole thing makes the impression that either it is some kind of, um, what's it called? Uh, when you try to jump people, it's a ambush, an ambush, um, or they're hiding from someone. Um, but they're definitely uh, positioned the walker in a way that it um, that actually you could have seen it because you were floating a bit higher than um, than a normal human being would walk. Okay. Um, there's no one. There's no sign of any people around, other than the fact that someone obviously stashed it here. At some point, yeah, there's no sign of. Uh, well, there actually is. Um, there is like um, um, th there's a big tent um, and uh, a campfire, but there are no people that you can see. Okay, um, I poke my head into the uh, the porcelain walker to make sure no one's inside. <laughs> in any hidden compartments uh and then uh, i tell them that we should steal this thing <laughs> you can also look inside the tent and it's also empty yes yeah i, I assumed i had done uh, and uh, there was nothing of uh, particular interest inside the tent or mm -hmm. stuff or you would probably have mentioned it um so uh yeah uh, given that i can't interact with anything uh, i head back and tell the group uh to steal this and um yeah, it will uh, solve our any car carrying problems as well. <laughs> that is true. Um, there's only two people on these. Like that's it total. And there's two. People yeah, there were these off. two um, two uh, porcelain princes, and they were um, they had weapons. And they have these um, new they had neural whips on their um, belt, and also each of them had one porcelain uh, pistol well we take we obviously someone should take the porcelain pistols as, and the neural whips as well absolutely <clears throat> so these are there these are there are two live people there guarding this so um porcelain princes they are poly bodied which means there's one entity um you can uh, like the rumors are that they are uh, immortal oh. like liches and they can spread their consciousness over different bodies. Gotcha. Um, but, but these, are, these also, are broken bodies, aren't they? Uh, so when are these they, ones animate or, or are working or not working? <laughs> they were work. They, they look like as if they were working. Okay. But oh, when they are I, done I, I, with the, when they're done with the bodies, then they are broken and uh, you know mindless. Mm. These could be the porcelain princes. We did steal one of these after blowing up the porcelain princes. Um, they could be after us. Uh, I, I will be. warn them. I will warn them about the uh, the porcelain princes up there. No, well, you may have to steal another one then. Mm. <laughs> when you approach the jade baobab, um, it is um, described as a two biomechanical. Uh, 40 meter high corpses of um, the trees. Um, there are um, bridges and platforms suspended between these um, trees. Uh, and 
Before that, you can see a floating barge. Um, it, like a floating barge is exactly what you think it is. Uh, it, it has some kind of anti-stuck force or anti-gravitational uh, field that keeps it afloat, much like in uh, you know, the Star Wars series, but that in really big. Um, it has some kind of tent um, structure on top to shield people and goods and so forth from the sun and from the elements. Um, there are four um, rainbow landers in um, which looks like guard uniforms. Um, and um, they have like bow throwers um, over their shoulders and they look uh, tough and mean. Um, and the the uh, the ramp that leads uh, up to the um, to the entrance to the baobabs is not drawn like the last time you came here. But um, so you can, if you want, uh, enter the tree. Um, and unless you do some interact with the guards in any special way, they will nod to you. I, I don't know. What are, what about Hamish? Hamish, will you just float as a ghost? Will you? Yeah, I mean. Uh, They've seen me before. Uh, we were here, right? I uh, I nod and I look at myself and I go, mm -hmm. you know, like. <laughs> and um, when you enter um, the the halls of the Jade Baobab, um, you can see that, um, like the last time you was there, you were greeted by uh, the metal nun, Sister Mercy is weakness. Um, and some kind of Psy uh, priest, Father Time have no purpose. None of them are there. Instead of the on the on the throne, so to speak, um, there is um, somebody. I think you haven't had, uh, maybe haven't uh, interacted with the last time. Um, and he greets you. Uh, and what do you say? We need to well via Kazooie. <laughs> we, uh, we need uh, Kazooie, We need help, right? <laughs> like uh, greetings. Um, uh, my name is Kazooie. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am um, brother. I give a bow. Sorry, second hand. Um, we haven't met, but I've seen your ghostly friend before um, yes he's he's not a ghost but he is he is in another phase and we desire to we may need help in returning him to this plane uh, and uh, the brother bows to um, Azure and he says um, good to see you again sister So he's much brother. more he's more jovial than the other two that uh, that you met before if um, in any ways we can help um, what do you need and are we are you willing to pay of course Yes, of course. And uh, we have, uh, we, and we have, yes, we have valuable trade goods that we have. Um, we would like to see if we can uh, return uh, our friend Hamish to his corporeal yes. form. Perhaps mm -hmm. the, the witch knows something. Well, our sister, uh, sister Mercy's weakness um, is unfortunately um, she went to the three sticks to. Um, give our offerings uh, to the holy place um, and uh, I'm afraid to say that uh, the father is very very sick so I have uh, uh, I uh, have the reins at the moment do we have anything that could help out the father <clears throat> no 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 he will be okay well, I'm just seeing we could probably if we can give him like uh, you know we can bring him back. like he's got a cold or he's like you know fucked up he's uh very sick 
can we but if we is there anything that i can do to be of assistance i have the gift can we not just pay them to get me back to normal for god's sake yes we're going to try to do that well you would have to wait until um uh, the sister is back um, but we expect her to be back in a couple of days a couple of days please, please make yourself comfortable um, we have still the same platform that you um, occupied the last time. Thank you. It was uh, the 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 uh, room was wonderful. It's it's nice to have like a place to crash that's not a moving truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you leave um, the. Uh, uh, I assume that you go to your platform to move in, so to speak. Um, yes. You can see that there is a like a Greenlander in a. Um, he looks, uh, or they look pretty similar to um, your uh, caravan leader. So he could be, or they could be, um, like a uh, a lawyer from the Cockflower Church. Um, and he was standing behind um, the, the throne uh, and he, um, he moves closer to the brother and whispers something in his ear. Hey, we should uh, see if we can get these Greenlanders off to safety. Absolutely. Uh, um, agreed. Well, Austin's was traveling with us to help rescue these Greenlanders, right? Mm -hmm. Of caravan people. Yes. Uh, what's his Good. plan in terms of bringing them back to safety? Um, yeah, when you when you move in to onto the platform, he puts his, um, you know his sex and his uh, bedroll and so forth in one corner, uh, and he says, "Well, we can we can bring them to um, the Spectrum Palace." Um, I mean, if we if we get burden beasts, uh, I would drive them personally back to um, you know the the beam of shell or some other place where we can drop them off in safety. We just need some uh, animals to to carry the the coach. Hey, well, Austin, you know, me casa su casa, right? And uh, we, we'll happily buy any beast of burden if that's what you want to do with them. Or mm -hmm. they can come with us down to Spectrum, the Spectrum Palace. It's up to you. I think. I mean, we have to feed them for the the whole journey. I guess. Either way, I guess. Well, we can feed them the bio shit we brought back from the past. No, you don't want to do that. You said Why not? it changed. You said it changed you. No, I said it changed. I didn't say it changed me. Oh, oh, the other stuff did. The eggs from the penguin did. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows if that, you know, that's the case here. These are sealed. I don't even know where they got the penguin eggs from. I'm assuming can, from the penguin's ass. We can just buy stuff. Knight has got all the money. We're all good. Yeah. Um, you said there was a Greenlander here and someone else. Yes. There was um, like a Greenlander, like a cockflower lawyer, probably. Um, and let's see. They Do you want to? Yeah, well, I'm just curious if they were looking at us and talking. I'm curious. Um, they Can were you? looking at you. At, at, oh, you want to approach him? Mm, sure. Um, so he says, um, let me see where my, my name is. Um, I'm Signora uh, Formatore. Uh, um, and I, uh, I have seen the um, the other Greenlanders that came with you. What happened to them? Um, they were trapped um, in a mine up in the area north of the Wine River and mm. east of the Copper Hills. Um, I, I don't. They were evidently. I think that their their group was attacked by uh, cold bombs. Um, and, yeah. and they ended up uh, being captured by 
these strange, um, the, I suppose they're a different kind of bone. Um, and um, most of them, some of them, um, unfortunately, were changed by the experience and could not return, but we rescued most of them. Well, we, I, we, want, to, we want to get them home at this point. Oh, um, well, they might be interested in a job offer I have for them. Uh, let me speak to them. Please, please be welcome. Um, is I'm sorry. Is this the Cogflower guy, or is this the the yes. Greenlander? No, that yeah. Well, the, the Cogflower Church uh, originates from the Greenlands. Oh, uh, okay. So, I mean, is this guy keeping tabs on us? Is he like a, a rat? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm I'm wondering if he's connected or keeping an eye on the caravan just to make sure we're not. Oh, I don't know, pocketing shit when they're not looking. <laughs> How do you want to find out? Was it was there a day between um, when we when we got back to the trucks and then got here? Could uh, I theoretically flip to uh, ESP? Oh wait, we yeah we slept we slept overnight, right? Yes, I think so. Can I flip back to ESP? Uh huh. Okay, so then I want to, um, I want to uh, once a day read his deeper thoughts. I want to get his, I want to get his surface thoughts and then read his deeper thoughts. So um, the surface thoughts are. Um, he thinks, oh wow, this is a, an opportunity. Um, that the prophet of prophet has just handed me. Um, and his deeper thoughts is these fools. I will sell them to the porcelain princess. Hot damn.